Okay. Hassan, <laughs> this is, Hassan, just another week where so many people are contributing to the pass rush. What does it say about this defense? Um, right now, our pass rush just, you know, our pass rush will be turned up, man. Um, as you can see, we got interior and edge rushers that can rush. Um, and as of right now, we're just getting after it. What, yeah, how, does it how does that change? How does that change things? How does it make things easier for you on? Uh, well, first it comes with stopping the run. Um, I don't know what the exact stat, but I don't think they had like six, over 60 yards rushing a day or something like that. So if we could continue to stop the run and force teams to continue to have to throw the ball, um, then naturally it just allow us to go ahead and get after the quarterback. Hassan, um, Brian was talking about how you guys can kind of come at just about every angle. Is mm -hmm. this is complex a, a, a rush scheme as you played in. Say it one more time. What do you mean by complex? It's like diverse, I guess. Uh -huh. To Brian's point about kind of being able to different guys coming in waves and at different angles. Um, I would say just here we have interior D linemen that can rush uh, really well. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't really know. I'm sorry. I'm how, how, how does this pass rush compared to what your expectations were coming in to what this year could do? Right now, I'm exceeding it. I wouldn't lie. Right now, we're uh, uh, we're exceeding where I, I thought we could be. And um, that's a, a surprising to me. But it's just a, a, a testament to the work that we put in during tra uh, training camp and you know OTAs and getting here, juggling with each other, bonding, getting to know each other, and everybody just committing to one goal, you know? Out there playing as hard as possible. Hassan, I know it's a team game, and you care about the team first, but uh, you also are winning the golf cart battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as of right now, yes. Uh, Brian got another sack today as well, so got to keep watching him. Uh, try to keep the lead on him, but overall, just happy for everybody. It's, it's exciting to see. Uh, you know, the defense played it, playing as well. I, I just hope that we can keep it up for the rest of the year. And as long as we come in day in and day out, continue to work the way that we have, I think that we can. How satisfying is this start for you personally, though? Because a lot of people thought maybe last year was just not really real. You know, you can't do this every year. Mm -hmm. uh, they see the tape. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that one. Have you picked up any moves from Burns, or has he picked up any from you? Uh, we, we, me and Burns, we, we constantly talk about pass rush all day, uh, every day, um, every time we see each other. When we out at practice, during the game, we constantly talk about pass rush, how we're being set by you know the tackles on each side, um, what worked, what didn't work. Always picking each other's brain and, and and trying to see, okay, you use that and then let me see if I could use this and and beating with this. What's your, what's your bread and butter? Your, your pass. Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> if I told you that, then everybody would be playing me for it. <laughs> so what was kind of the game plan against James today? Just affecting. Um, always a team like the Saints that have a dynamic running back like uh, Alvin Kamara, you got to, you got to stop the you got to stop the run first. Um, in my opinion. You know, he's one of the best running backs in the league um, from a rushing and catching standpoint. So we wanted to first come out and stop the run. And then after that, once you stop the run, you get the chance to rush the quarterback. And that allows your, you know, your pass rushers to go ahead, pin their ears back, and get after it. We knew, you know, after watching Jamin, Jameis, I'm sorry, last week, we knew that if we could affect him and not allow him be the, the factor he was, I think he threw 20 passes last week and still had five touchdowns. Like, that's unheard of. Um, so we knew that if we can affect him, get him off his spot, that we would have a good chance to win the game. But so on, JC gets his first pick today. Mm -hmm. What is it about him? He doesn't seem like a rookie. Mm -hmm. What What's his bearing like when he's on the practice field in the meeting room? And as far as NFL ready talent, you know, playing corner cornerback, and you know, he's going to go get some great wide receivers this year. Uh, but to see him so far, man, I'm I'm really impressed. Um, I remember when we first drafted him. I had, you know, watching some of his tape and some of his highlights. I already liked, I already liked what he was, you know, what he bring to the table. But to just see him out there balling, you know, to get his first pick today, and 
only his second game, man. It's special, and I'm, I'm truly happy for him. Uh, but with him, I think the sky's the limit. I think he has the talent to be one of the best. Uh, you know, he comes in with that mentality. He works hard. He listens. Um, and always soaking up information, and you'd love to see that out of rookies. He's serious about what he does. I know you said last week your performance against the Jets as a team kind of put the league on notice. How much more noise does this win make? <laughs> At this point now, it's about us. And continue to stack great games and, you know, continue to execute and play as well as we did. Um, we're still not where we want to be. But we know, and we know that. So we're 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 working. We're going to continue to work towards, you know, trying to be as be as perfect as we can be, and come out here every Sunday or whatever game day, you know, come out there on game day and be the how, best that we can be. How important is for this defense for the for your offense to be doing what it's doing, controlling the ball? Sam's not turning the ball over a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's so it's, how big important is that? Y'all have confidence in, in him. It's complimentary football. Um, for them to have the time of possession that they did today and allow the defense, you know, to kind of sit on, sit on the bench and, you know, rest and not have to go long drives and for us to be able to continue to get them the ball back. I mean, it's big. It's, they, they, everybody uh, is playing great football so far and we're just complimenting each other. We're, we're feeding off of their energy. They're feeding off of us. Um, and I love, I love where we're at. I know we can do more. I know we can be better, but I kind of love where we're at right now. Can't, you know, can't wait to see what the rest of the season holds for us. So, so how is getting AJ <coughs> Lake uh, on Uh Veteran guy, played a lot of football, um, a, a good cornerback. Uh, can't wait for him to, you know, come back and just be another voice, you know, somebody who's been around. I think this is year nine for him, somebody that's been around. Um, and just continue to lead the younger guys, the younger DBs, and be a factor on this defense. Thank you, Hot. Thanks, guys. Everybody be safe. Appreciate you. Damn. That's me. Yeah, we're going to bill you, bro. All right. Oh. That's it? Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Guys, it right here anyway. It was just there. Don't try to put it all on me. You did it. You put it in a vulnerable situation. No, you dropped it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I did. But, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me go make sure my stuff right. Um, oh, you got I'm going to do it after I, um, yeah, I need to touch up my stuff. I'm going to get this to a damn. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Touch ring? Yep. Thank mm -hmm. you.